Well, we're here, Hilton Road, playing fields in Sunderland. It's been our first Sunderland Samba pre-season training tonight. And uh, before the session, we are also trying to think a little bit about connecting with the, the Bible and prayers. We're part of the Northeast Christian Fellowship League. And uh, you may know the, the hymn, Abide With Me, sung at the cup final uh, each year. And apparently this became a tradition in 1927 the FA Cup final known as the Singing Final played between Arsenal and Cardiff City. Cardiff won 1-0, the only time the FA Cup has been won from a team outside of England. Uh, and Abide With Me was played before the match in a, a special concert and somehow it's become a tradition after that. Actually uh, written by Henry Francis Light uh, and uh, he had tubercul tu <coughs> can't say it, tuberculosis and he was actually dying when he wrote the, the hymn and it's very much about life and death. I was looking into where this phrase abide with me comes from and where he took his inspiration for the for the hymn and it comes from uh, the story in Luke's gospel uh, of the, the, the disciples on the road to Emmaus. Uh, Jesus has been crucified just a few days before and they've heard that some of the disciples have found the tomb empty where he was buried and they'd seen a vision of him uh, alive with the angels. And these two disciples are on the, uh, I think it's about an eight mile walk on the road to Emmaus and they're talking about what's been happening and uh, they meet a stranger on the road and in fact it's Jesus but they don't recognize him uh, and they say to him do you not know what's been going on in Jerusalem or, uh, with Jesus and, and all the things he's been doing and how he's been killed uh, and that they're wondering what will happen next but Jesus tells them did you not believe did you not understand what the prophets had had written and told us that this was what was to happen and they get to Emmaus and Jesus is going to go on, continue on the road but the, these two disciples say no, come in, stay with us abide with us that would be the, uh, the same meaning and he comes into the house and they get ready for the, for the supper and Jesus breaks the bread and at that moment the disciples recognise this is Jesus Jesus disappears and the disciples rush back to Jerusalem to tell their friends of what they've seen and experienced with Jesus on the road and breaking the bread. So we were thinking, even in our team, in our football team, the importance of breaking bread together, of sharing our physical and spiritual needs and those of others, but also knowing that Jesus can be with us on the road and even on the football pitch, walking with, the, with us, even if we don't know it. The disciples even said on that road, didn't our hearts burn within us as he talked us through the scriptures? And as we can feel that inspiration and presence of Jesus with us each and every day on the football pitch and in our lives. So let's go break bread, share with others and know Jesus in our lives. Abide with me, fast falls the eventide, the darkness deepens, Lord with me abide. When other helpers fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless, oh abide with me. Hold through thy cross before my closing eyes. Shine through the gloom and point me to the skies. Heaven's morning breaks and earth's vain shadows flee. In life, in death, O oh Lord, abide with me.